Hi, I'm Ian and I'm a paysetter at home. So welcome to our third target for our activity we've got to do, okay? Hope you're enjoying yourselves at home. Uh, for this activity, uh, we're going to need some different objects for the game. Uh, obviously we'll need to ask our parents' permission to do the activity and to get these items, but hopefully you should have them around the house. So we'll need um, basically a few different plastic and empty bottles. So it could be any sort of bottle or plastic container that you've had um, recently. Um, and obviously make sure they are empty and then make sure they're not anything other than plastics for your safety. Once you've got them, okay, you can have as many as you like, so up to sort of 10, which is uh, how many we ideally need. But if not, you can have six, seven, eight, as many as you can get is fine. For the bottles, you need to arrange them in a bit of a triangle shape, okay? Whatever distance apart you'd like, you can be further apart from each other to make it harder or closer together to make it easier for you. You'll also need your faithful bundle of socks, okay? So a couple of socks, pairs of socks rolled up into a ball ready to be used. Okay, so as you can see in front of me here, I've arranged mine in a triangle, triangular shape, just like a real 10 pin bowling, which is what we're trying to achieve. A uh, real bowling shape, okay? I'm gonna stand a few meters away when I'm doing it and I'm going to throw underarm so that the ball of socks either rolls across the floor or it sort of hits them directly, but I don't wanna do an overarm throw for this activity. So you'll stand a further distance away, nice and low, you're going to try and see how many you can get down. Oh, so I didn't get them all down that time, but you can keep trying. This activity you can do in pairs or in, with other people in your household, to have a competition, or as I said before, and some other, other activities, you can do it individually, where you'll just try and get as many as you can in a certain time or in a certain amount of throws, and then you can afterwards try and beat that score at a later date, okay? So let's say, boys and girls, um, you can do this indoors or outdoors, just making sure you're in a safe position to do so uh, and that you've got all the uh, uh, things you need. But anything at home that's plastic and will, will be knocked over will be sufficient with your parents' permission, okay? So thank you very much for watching, watching boys and girls. Hopefully you enjoy the activity and thank you for being a pace setter at home.